Moving on, Sri Lanka and New Zealand on Wednesday agreed to enhance cooperation on several sectors, including the dairy farming industry. This comes as New Zealand Prime Minister John Philip Kay began his two-day state visit to the Indian Ocean Island nation. New Zealand Prime Minister Key received a ceremonial welcome from Sri Lankan President Maitripala Sirisena at Presidential Secretariat in capital Colombo. He met top Sri Lankan leadership and signed number of agreements to strengthen bilateral ties. Eni sa api ada asangkaran lada givisum tulah pradana wasen ma api rata kirkar mante dinan pohon kiri me wishes wedusa tahanak petulat pelati beno. Ewa game api api sahaja tulah api sahaja kala balapur tuenwa dera tatare sancar gbiapare tau tauat shakti mat kiri ma sandha. Sri Lanka is a top 10 importer of New Zealand dairy products, the majority of which are supplied by Fonterra. And that's a great opportunity to share technology and idea and know-how and the expertise that New Zealand farmers have developed for well over 100 years. It allows them to become, uh, or has, it has allowed them to become the most uh, efficient and productive farmers in the world. And we can already see with the work that we are doing with the model farm and the transfer of that technology, the capacity to make your farmers wealthier, more productive and more able to supply the products that your uh, citizens need. Key is on a two-day visit to the country and is expected to open a demonstration farm in Panala by Fonterra, a New Zealand-based leading multinational dairy company during his stay. Key, who also met Prime Minister Ranil Vikram Singh later in the day, is expected to chair an executive meeting of the International Democratic Union, an umbrella grouping of conservative political parties.